Hey Virgo, I hope everything is going well for you guys. Welcome to your general love reading for mid-October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in the sign of Virgo. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can definitely check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right, Virgo, what is going on with you? <clears throat> Ooh, okay, mid-October, we have Dark Night of the Soul. Okay, so this could be for you. This could be for um, a person that you are dealing with. I do feel like October, as I've been saying, in like all the Zodiac this month, um, but I've been feeling this from before I even did the did the Zodiac, just astrologically, there's a lot going on. Um, it's a lot of positive, positive energy that is happening, <clears throat> but that positive energy can actually have a lot of little like difficult um, rough patches hidden within it. So I feel like that's actually what's going on here. Um, somebody is going through a very difficult process at the moment. So let's see what this is about for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Second half of October. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Okay, so let's see what we got here for Virgo. Okay. All right, Virgo, so starting off your reading, we have death crossed by the three of wands. Okay, so there's something is ending here. I feel like something is coming to an end, but the challenge is actually um, allowing it to fully happen. I feel like with this three of wands here, there's a lot of like either procrastinating or waiting, or it just feels like um, almost like, okay, like an impending doom. It's like that. It's giving me that kind of a feeling like there's an ending that's about to happen. I don't feel like it has fully happened. And then it's like kind of like you're just waiting for it. Like, you know, it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. And that's a little bit difficult to deal with. Right. Just just waiting for it to happen, that anticipation and not knowing what that's going to bring. OK, this is also Scorpio energy that is showing up here. Um, in the recent past, we have Judgment in reverse. We actually do have quite a few cards in reverse here. So I feel like, yeah, this is definitely um, also representing this dark night of the soul, just feeling like everything is is wrong or feeling like, you know, everything is just so hard, everything is just so difficult, or just seeing things in a very pessimistic type of a way. All right, again, could be you, could be your person, though. Um, so with Judgment being in reverse... Um, it could be that there was there was this um, essence in the recent past that they, where things could have come back together, where it felt like a reconciliation or some kind of resolution or major decision for the better was about to take place, but it didn't. It didn't happen, which could be why this this like ending, this death, it's like lurking um, in the atmosphere here. For your energy, we have the Five of Wands and the Strength card in reverse. So we do have Leo energy showing up here. Um, you're conflicted at the moment. There's um, You're conflicted. There might be a little bit of frustration and a feeling like things just aren't working with this person. There could be a little bit of defensiveness, maybe just a little bit on your end, maybe a little bit of um, like wanting to put up a fight, but at the same time not feeling strong enough or not having that feeling like you just don't have the energy or you don't have that power to do so. I do feel like there's something here that you might not be seeing, though, with strength also being in reverse, um, but we'll see when we clarify for them, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like on the surface, it appears like this person has pretty much given up on something, on a new path here that they would want. Um, it's like at this moment, 
this person is not really putting in much effort. I feel like this person has put in effort in the past. But that effort didn't really bring the results that were expected and so this person possibly stopped which kind of just put this like block on on the path that the two of you were on or on the two on the path that the two of you could have potentially been on three of pentacles in the near future we'll see what that is when we clarify um it could be that the two of you are coming together um Possibly to just kind of like a team effort. I don't know for what. We'll see. And Six of Cups and the potential outcome here. We'll see. I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting some nostalgia there. From both sides. So we'll see. We'll see what this dark night of the soul is about. Why it is here. You know, what is the point of it? We'll, what it can lead to and why we have this six of cups in reverse here okay because that could lead to something else that could lead to a more positive resolution um because of that all right that's what that's what oftentimes happens especially with endings that's when we can um, wake up to certain things or realize certain things that we weren't that we weren't seeing before that could be true for your person or for yourself so let's see, let's clarify death and the three of wands. All right, and the reversals are continuing. We have just, <laughs> just for what's going on right now, okay? This doesn't mean that this is what's going to keep happening, but right now, or around the time of mid-October, we have Justice in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Hierophant in reverse. Let me just look at them in the proper order here. Okay, so there's an ending because there was a decision here concerning some kind of a commitment or some kind of a cultural belief or some kind of a tradition or just some kind of a big um structure in somebody's life there was a decision concerning that that was not made somebody was not either clear on it or was just not okay <laughs> the way it's coming in is like somebody was not brutal enough so i don't know how that's going to make sense but i feel like somebody was not brutal enough when it came to fully um, following through with a particular decision concerning either this, I mean, the Hierophant can represent um, family, it can represent a commitment, it can represent beliefs, traditions, culture, okay, just a whole bunch of things along those lines. Somebody was not brutal enough in cutting that out, cutting something out in that aspect here. And so because of that, it feels like there's this ending, like this ending that needs to take place. Now, this ending could even be with whatever that hierophant is, right? That's why it's also in reverse, justice in reverse, like that th there's a procrastination when it comes to putting an end to that. And when I say brutal, I mean, I, 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 I'm not getting that in a negative way. I feel like this is a situation where somebody needs to be a little bit more cutting. Somebody needs to be a little bit more firm. Let's see the five of wands for your energy. All right, the Seven of Wands in reverse and the High Priestess. All right, so you're, I feel like you're, you're feeling a little bit conflicted because because you're feeling vulnerable to this. You're feeling vulnerable to this situation. I feel like you're actually even being called intuitively to be, um, to be vulnerable, but you're not, you're not showing it. You're not showing it, which, which is not necessarily good or bad. You're just not showing it. 
But the fact that you feel this vulnerability, that I feel like that um, bothers you. Let me see the strength card in reverse. All right, we have the devil in reverse and temperance in reverse. Okay, I see. What it is that you're not feeling so powerful in terms of is, you know, um, is enduring this time-wise. You're feeling like, you know what, you, like I don't have the strength to continue on in this way. I just don't want to have to keep finding that strength and that courage, you know, to be involved in this or to be waiting on this or to be waiting for something to end in order for this to move forward. I feel like your tolerance is kind of wearing thin. That's what this five of wands is also about. I feel like it's like you're not, you don't have tolerance for this person. And so you might catch yourself having some kind of feelings that are a little bit, um, again, it's not exactly competitive, but it's more like, like frustration and just like not agreeing with the way that this person is handling a particular situation. And then you're allowing yourself to just be vulnerable to that. I feel like you don't like it, but but I also get that you're becoming more accepting of that because you just don't you don't want to deal with the the toxicity of this. I feel like the waiting or that you constantly being on guard or you constantly trying to be the strong one like that is what what you don't have the energy to um to do anymore. Almost like your your like your patience has run thin, which I actually I know we always say, you know, be patient. Yeah, but there are two different types of patience. Be patient with ourselves, yes. Be patient for, you know, to receive what is meant for us, yes. Also, yes, sometimes we are called to be patient with another person, depending on the circumstances. But if we're just waiting for somebody, that's not that's not the type of patience that is going to be serving to us. And I feel like that's, that's what I mean when I say running out of patience. Like you just don't want to have to find this strength within you to be waiting for something that doesn't appear to be um, coming. And so at the same time, there is like this, because you're running out of patience, it's like this impending um, sense of doom or, you know, like knowing that this ending is coming. And that can be, that can feel a little torturous. So let's see this Ace of Pentacles for the other person. We have the Hanged Man and the Knight of Swords appears to be in reverse. This person, I mean, this is just confirmation. This person appears stuck at the moment. This person appears stuck at the moment. I actually feel like they're taking a step back um, to fully look at what it is that is going on because I do feel like they're they're undergoing their own, their own ending here for whatever that, because I do feel like this is mostly for them. But of course, this could be for you, okay? When I was talking about the Hierophant here. And having to be more brutal it could be for either either one of you but I feel like for for many of you this is actually going to be for the other person here that has been keeping them that has been keeping them stuck yes but I feel like they're kind of taking a step back and, and taking a really good look at that and it's creating a lot of um, there's irritability irritability like I feel like they're becoming impatient as well with, but they're becoming impatient with their own self and with their own situation, whereas you are becoming impatient 
with them and not wanting to not wanting to have to wait. Let's see that seven of pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse again. Okay, it's just the same message that keeps coming through. Um, this person just was has not been fully committed to, to whatever it is that they were putting in effort towards. Which was actually serving as a block for them to move forward. Okay, in this connection with you. So let's, let's see what's coming up though. Let's see this Three of Pentacles. For what's coming up in the near future. Right, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the world in reverse. Okay, so yeah, I do feel like there is some kind of a partnership here. There is some kind of whatever it is that's positive, okay, between the two of you. I feel like these are, this is like a movement towards love and towards some kind of a working together. So I don't know if it, it could be literally working together for some of you or it could just be your energies kind of coming into this alignment all right, where the both of you are feeling the same way about each other, knowing that this this is not done. All right, this situation between the two of you, it's not over. It is not complete. Let me get one more here. Let's see how this might play out for some of you a little more specifically. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the, the and the Three of Cups in Reverse. Okay, so I do see this as being movement forward. I do feel like this movement forward. Okay, so two threes here. I feel like whatever this other situation was, okay, this is what is actually showing up here. Movement towards there being a conclusion to this um, to this third energy, whatever that might be for each of you. Okay, again, it's it's going back to that higher fint in reverse. Okay, whatever whatever came through to you or whatever resonated for you when I was talking about that. That's what this is referring to here. So whatever that is, there is this progressive slow movement towards an ending of that. Okay. The situation between the two of you is not, it's not done. But I do feel like there are going to be some tangible steps here. And the way that this is going to play out for a lot of you is the two of you actually working in some way on this together. So I don't know if this person, um, even if it's something that this person has to do on their own, I feel like there's going to be some kind of a support from you in one way or another. It doesn't have to be direct. It could be like indirectly, which can take a lot of um, different forms. Let's see that six of Sorry guys, my camera decided to run out of memory right at the end here. Okay, so the three cards that we got for the potential outcome here with the Six of Cups in reverse, we have the Moon in reverse, the Star, and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so actually, this is pretty big energy here because they're all major arcana, all right, for where this seems to be heading or what the potential is here. Um, this is leading to, yes, a place of nostalgia, as I said in the beginning, but... What I'm getting with this now is also that this is not wanting to go back to the way that things were. All right, not wanting to go back to this to this mess. I feel like with this three of pentacles here that is coming up in the near future, this is kind of setting things on track. Okay, moving things forward in a positive way. Um, and there's this awareness, all right, with the moon being in reverse here. There's some clarity that is coming in showing what the illusions were and what it is that that the both of you truly want all right there's this wish for things to be different now to not go back to how 
things were in the sense that before, right, the things were not, were not working out. So I'm not sure for, um, for the timing with that um, specifically, but I feel like that's definitely where things are heading and, you know, at least the clarity of that, all right, it's coming into play here within the timing of, you know, this reading or whatever that might be for you give or take a couple of weeks, second half of October. All right, so Virgo, final message, if this resonated. Please give me a thumbs up if it did. Subscribe if you haven't. And we have the new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. Well, yeah, this does feel like it's powerful change, but that it's, it's kind of happening a little bit um, discreetly. So powerful change happening discreetly, but yeah, the effects are going to be powerful, all right, in the long run. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.